Coach Matt bringing you another edition of Tech Tip Tuesday. Improving sprint form along with enhancing max velocity should be one of the top objectives towards developing sports performance. Contrary to popular belief, max velocity sprinting requires an immense amount of coordination and mechanical efficiency. Unless you're a track athlete, the phenomenon of max velocity sprinting and how to develop this skill is often misunderstood. Today, we're going to go over a drill used by many coaches and trainers called the Wicked Drill. We'll cover the setup, execution, as well as some tips and cues we use to improve the competency of this drill and the skill of sprinting. The Wicked Drill, created by former Texas A&M assistant track and field coach Vince Anderson, is a drill that aids in teaching the feel of sprinting by modulating sprint cadence and reinforcing proper sprint positions. As we go through the continuum of a speed development session, the wicker drill is usually performed after the sprint drill segment of the session as it allows the session to gradually increase in intensity and complexity. The wicker drill offers the perfect buildup to max velocity runs. The wicker drill uses six inch banana hurdles spaced appropriately apart. Spacing can be confusing to understand as there are many approaches to this. Objectively, spacing depends on a few factors including familiarity with the drill, stage of athletic development, and height. For example, athletes who are in a rudiment stage of development would require hurdle spacing that is relatively close together as they are developing familiarity with the drill and need to start at slower speeds to develop the skill. Conversely, advanced athletes who are faster would require spacing that is further apart. At Prolific, our version of the Wicked Drill requires nine hurdles, similar to how Vince Anderson used the drill. To make things simple, we use footsteps to measure our spacing as opposed to a measuring tape, which would be required by advanced athletes. For developing athletes, we place the first three hurdles down four adult-sized footsteps apart. For the next three, 4.5 steps. And for the remaining three hurdles, we use five steps. As the athlete gets more competent in the drill, gradually increase the spacing by a half a foot. To start the drill, we run up with at least six forceful steps to build up some relative speed in order to properly execute the drill. If we build up too slow or too fast, then we will be out of position, which in turn will compromise the technique. We don't use many cues as a wicked drill is self-medicating, in a sense that it forces proper positions. Some of the cues we use are hips up, the signal tall hips throughout the drill. We want to avoid sitting, which will inhibit sprint speed. We also cue athletes to punch the thighs as this trains active foot recovery. If the athlete is floating too much, then we'd cue them to strike down. Getting your feet down as fast as possible is always the primary goal of a sprinter, and that's ultimately all they should care about. As a coach, you want to look for tall hips with the foot recovering under the hips. You want to see the limbs consistently cycling with an even distribution of speed and movement with each stride. Try out the Wicked Drill and let us know what you think. Hit like and follow and stay tuned to next week's Tech Tip Tuesday.